If you're struggling to get a job in data science and data analytics, you're not alone. But there are ways to speed up the process and actually get hired. One such way is a certification, and this method is often overlooked. They think it's too hard, that it's not worth it, but if you truly get the right certification, it can be the easiest way to stand out and get that data job you're looking for. Today, I'll talk about the top SQL certifications. Now, I want to emphasize that everyone doesn't need a certification. If you already have a decade of experience, then it's probably a waste of time. But when you don't have any experience, or very little experience, companies look at your profile and think, why should we hire this person? And that's when they see that you're certified in SQL, the top skill for most data roles, and that's a game changer. And now with a massive amount of beginners and new people, if you're looking to stand out and actually get a job, it could be worth considering getting certified. Today, I'm just going to list all the great certifications out there, and we'll talk about which one you should get if you want to become a data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, and more. Let's get started. First up on the list, we have the Microsoft Azure Database Administrator Associate Certification. That's a long name. This one is a little bit different, which is why I'm starting with it, so we can get to the more clear SQL certifications later. So what does this certification contain? Well, it's all about managing SQL Server and Azure SQL services, and it will focus on operational aspects like security, performance, and high availability. All super important stuff. Now, the price is $165 in the United States, but it will depend on your region, and you can renew it completely for free, which I think is a huge plus as well. I absolutely hate when certifications require you to pay to renew them all the time and it's just really, really annoying. I do understand that they need to make some money, but still, stop it, guys. All you do to renew this certification is you take their online learning course and then an online assessment in your own time, you know, no test or anything you have to pay for or schedule. Very efficient. Now, let's talk about the exam itself that you need to complete to get the certification. It is called DP300. First, who should take the certification? Well, it is for database administrators managing SQL Server and Azure SQL databases, both on-premises and in the cloud. Now, this certification is not only for those with experience in database administration, but can also benefit beginners as long as you have the foundational knowledge. I think that it could even be useful for data engineers or even data analysts looking to get certified and expand their Azure database management skills. But if you're looking for those roles, I think the other certifications will be even even better for you. Now, how do you prepare? Well, you can take their free learning path on Azure's official website, including database administration, security, and performance optimization, and just having a good understanding of databases is going to be really helpful in general. Next up on the list, we have the MySQL Database Developer. Now, what is this certification going to teach you? Well, according to the page itself, it will certify an individual's expertise in utilizing connectors, APIs, designing and maintaining MySQL databases, optimizing different SQL queries, and managing JSON and document stores for data-driven applications. Now, that's a lot of stuff, but we're going to break down who this certification is for. The price is around 100 to 250 bucks, depending on your location and your situation. For example, it is cheaper for students, which I think is great because students usually have less to spend. Now, I haven't found any price differences between the countries. I did actually think that I was going to find something like that. During the exam itself, you'll have 90 minutes to take the exam. You will get 65 different questions and you need a score of 62% or above to pass, which is not that bad, actually. Now, as you can see, it is a lot of questions, so it's not focusing on reasoning and long form questions, but it's more just testing your knowledge in all sorts of areas really, really quickly. It's mainly multiple choice questions. So let's talk about who the certification is for and how to prepare for it. It is designed for roles to specialize in developing and maintaining data-driven applications using MySQL. This means that it's not for complete beginners. It's best for those with some experience. It does require practical database development skills, so you'll need hands-on experience and not just theory alone. So how do you prepare for it? Well, they have their own learning path with 31 hours of training. It's not supposed to teach you everything from scratch, but rather help you prepare for the exam. And that is an important distinction. You'll still have to learn things on the side, not just from this one, you know, training course. The first course is called MySQL for Developers, and I think that might reveal something. Now let's move on to the next one. 
This is also an Oracle certification, but it is different from the previous one. Here we have the Oracle Database SQL Certified Associate Certification. Can they please stop with these long names? To sum this cert up quickly, you'll be tested on your SQL skills and working with Oracle Database Server. This involves, you know, writing queries, insert, update, delete statements, and also some data definition and data control language. More importantly, let us take a look at the exam you have to pass. Here is the name on the screen, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, and I don't expect you to remember this one. I already forgot the name myself. Anyway, it contains 63 multiple choice questions and you need 63 beautiful percent to pass. You have 120 minutes to complete the exam and the price is around 100 to 250 bucks as well. Now who should take this certification? So this one is more focusing on general SQL skills. Sure, you'll work with their database, but if we compare it to their certification mentioned earlier, the MySQL database developer, this one is less specific. I mean, the previous cert was for database developers and this one isn't really for a specific role like that. So if you're looking for a more general SQL certification, I think the Oracle Database SQL Certified Associate will win this round. All right, let's move on to number four. But first, if you do like my channel, subscribe, press the bell to get updates, and we'll meet again in a future video. Thank you, and let's continue. All right, next up on the list, we have the number five, and that is Microsoft Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification. As you can tell by the name, it's more specific than some of the other ones, but I still think that it's a very useful SQL certification. And it also showcases a ton of other skills, especially if you're leaning more towards data engineering. First, it is all about learning to manage and analyze data using Microsoft Azure and their different cloud services. That is a key skill for an Azure data engineer, so you'll be tested on that. It is also in the requirements for the certification and they write that you must have solid knowledge of data processing languages, including SQL, Python and Scala. Now for the price, it's 165 bucks in the US, 113 pounds in the UK and 4,800 Indian rupees, which means the cost varies depending on your location. So it's just best to check on the official Microsoft website. Now let's talk about the exam. This certification requires passing the DP203 exam. And if we take a look at the skills measured section, we can see that it's 15 to 20% design and implement data storage, 40 to 45% develop data processing. So that's the main part. And finally, 30 to 35% about securing, monitoring, and optimizing data storage and data processing. The exam is for data professionals with a background in SQL, Python, and Scala that are looking to focus on learning and getting certified in Azure's data services, focusing on data engineering. For that reason, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners, especially if you're looking for something like a data analyst role, but you can always give their exam preparation material a try to see where you're at. That's pretty fun. All right, now we're getting into a really interesting certification. This is actually an entry-level cert and it can be really valuable for getting jobs, promotions, and just becoming more confident since you're certified. Number six, the IBM Associate Certified DBA. And DBA, again, stands for Database Administrator. Now, this one focuses on DB2 or Database2, which is a group of database products by IBM themselves, which isn't that surprising considering how it's their certification. You're going to be tested on quite a bit of stuff in this one. Let's just go through it really quick. According to IBM, and I quote, the database associate should have an in-depth knowledge of the basic to intermediate tasks required in day-to-day -day administration, basic SQL, understanding how to create databases and database objects and have a basic knowledge of database security and transaction isolation. We'll take a closer look at the exam content more in detail to break this down. Now the exam has 63 questions and you will need to answer 44 of these correctly to pass the exam, which isn't that bad either. You have 90 minutes to do so, so it's also not focusing as much on reasoning and such, it's more just testing your knowledge quickly. There are seven different sections in the exam. The first one is planning, which accounts for 11% of the grade. Next, working with SQL and XML, our favorite part at 21%. Next, security, 8%. Operations, 16 Data concurrency, 11 Application design, 21%. And finally, working with database objects at 12%. So this is an entry-level exam according to IBM, but why should you take it? It can be worth both to have the piece of paper to show to employers, but also to motivate you to keep learning. Those are the main reasons. They have a course that they recommend you take, but they do emphasize hands-on experience first. Now, without a job yet, that's quite difficult to get in some ways, but you can still do it with projects and actually working with these tools yourself, hands-on. That is an essential part of preparing for this exam. 
Some final words, if you're a beginner, you don't need a certification to get a job. Take a look at your portfolio, your resume and everything like that first, and then perhaps it's worth considering if you want to take it one step further. It can be a great experience both to learn and also to get certified, but it will take some, some serious time to prepare for it. I also have another video here with the top seven data analyst certifications, which you can check out right here as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.